It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Friday, the 5th of April. I'm Michael Groff. A powerful, cold Pacific storm system moving through the region. The major impacts for our weather, obviously the cooler temperatures, windy conditions. We've got some blowing dust in some spots. And there is a secondary concern for the potential of at least a little bit of precipitation over parts of the area. But obviously the cooler temperatures are the major headline with this. And we'll continue to see cool temperatures into tomorrow before a warming trend will take over thereafter. And by this time next week, yeah, we'll likely be seeing our first 90-degree days of the year in Phoenix. I know, you don't want to hear it, but that's the reality. Sooner or later, it was going to happen. We'll talk about all of that and everything else in just a moment. But before we do, it is Friday, and that means it's Photo Friday here. That's where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. First up, David Parnell with this shot from last Saturday. He said a windy day at Scottsdale Christian Academy. But, of course, high school sports go on, even with the wind. Then this is from Lori Mesa looking out there at SpaceX moving through the sky there. Great shot. And then Beth showing us those April flowers. Yes, a lot of March showers lead to April flowers. That's how it works in Phoenix. That's beautiful. And we love to see those pictures from Beth. Yes. Everything is starting to come into bloom. And we'll probably see it last a little longer this year with all the wet weather and the cooler temperatures that we've had around. And then this is from Clayton. Uh, this was taken up in Sedona on Easter Sunday, and it is gorgeous up across northern Arizona. Again, things are beginning to come alive as we move into the spring. And that's it. You want, you, you want to submit your photos and or videos for Photo Friday? You can do so. Groffshow at gmail.com is my email address. That is G-R-O-F-F-Show at gmail.com for photo friday all right taking a look at the almanac from yesterday we just missed it 89 degrees was the afternoon high 59 the morning low 83 and 58 are the averages for this time of year as we take a look outside right now just after 2 p.m 2 20 p.m actually and we are sitting at 66 degrees how about that at two o'clock in the afternoon in april 2.32, 28% the humidity, wind from the west at 17, gusting to 22 miles an hour, the barometer steady. What's going on with this weather pattern? Well, here it is, the upper level weather pattern across the nation. It's the old Omega block. You've got a big, uh, big trough for the east, big trough out here in the west. In between, there's a ridge. Uh, this trough in the west, this is a cold Pacific storm system, but unlike the previous systems that have come through, this one's a little further to the north. It doesn't have nearly the amount of moisture with it. And so with the main moisture and dynamics further north, that means chances of precipitation around here are very limited. Nevertheless, it's a cold system and it's pulling down plenty of very chilly air across the entire western United States. And look at this watch warning map just lit up. Wind advisories throughout the west. You got red flag warnings in some areas from New Mexico and West Texas and points northward over the parts of the Plain States. You got winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings. Obviously, the snowflakes are flying through the Intermountain West, mainly north of Arizona. Uh, for us in Arizona, yes, uh, wind advisories and high wind warnings, especially northern eastern Arizona. You got some blowing dust advisories, too. Uh, no advisories for Phoenix, but we could see some winds gusting to about 30 miles per hour at times. We've seen that through the day today. Convective outlook, we don't anticipate any organized severe weather, but some thunder possible right around or just north of us. And the precipitation outlook valid through next Friday afternoon. And precipitation amounts in Phoenix, probably not much, if anything, at all with this. Yes. We could see one, two, three hundredths of an inch of rain, but for the most part, I just don't think there's going to be anything on a widespread basis for us here in Phoenix. And we'll talk about what's going on with this weather pattern in more detail. To do that, we take a look at the models. Here we go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. It's the same story. Troughing along the East Coast, Ridge in the middle, and this big cold upper trough here in the west, my goodness, uh, heights way below average. What it means for us down at the surface for the rest of the afternoon, 
Partly sunny, windy, and a slight chance of a shower this afternoon. Maybe even a rumble of thunder someplace. Uh, some areas of blowing dust are possible too. High temperatures. Well, the high temperature for today has already been set. That was at midnight, and just after midnight, 72 degrees. I think we're going to see steady temperatures in the mid 60s through the afternoon, maybe dropping by the time we get toward the evening hours. For tonight, as this thing moves on through, again, a slight chance of a shower in the evening, rain showers mainly. Snow level could get down to about 4,000 feet, though. How about that? And then uh, we'll turn mostly clear after midnight. The winds will die down. We could conceivably see low temperatures get down in the 30s in the coldest valley locations, mostly mid-40s for the urban core. And then tomorrow, this is out of here, but a secondary little short wave is going to follow on the heels of this. It's not going to produce any precipitation, but it will reinforce the cool air. So tomorrow should actually see high temperatures only in the mid-60s, maybe upper 60s. We'll go with a range of about 64 to 68 for tomorrow. Obviously, that's more than 15 degrees below normal. Uh, so that's going to be statewide, 15 to 20 degree below average temperatures for tomorrow. And even Saturday night, Sunday morning will be chilly. You wake up Sunday morning with lows in the 40s. Again, maybe upper 30s in the cold spots, but we'll be warmer on Sunday. Sunny sky, uh, low to mid 70s. Monday, low to mid 70s. Another weather system will pass by, but not much fanfare with that. Again, a shower or two across northern Arizona, but for us, we should stay dry. Partly sunny, mostly sunny sky. Tuesday, we'll start the warm up again. Highs, mid 70s to about 80. Should be in the low, maybe mid-80s or so on Wednesday. And by Thursday, high temperatures climb up to the upper 80s and low 90s. So by next Thursday, we should see our first 90-degree day of the year here in Phoenix. And that would put it at April 11th. And that's, hey, that's not too bad holding off till April 11th for the first 90-degree day of the year. A week from today, this is Friday the 12th. Now, the GFS has been showing some sort of energy getting caught up underneath this developing ridge, a little weak upper low, an open wave, some type of feature that could serve to pull a bit of extra moisture into the region. Even if this happens, even if we take the most generous approach to how this could play out, and quite candidly, uh, this might lead to a shower or two across the eastern mountains or something, but uh, I would think only some high clouds and maybe some breezes for us. It might hold temperatures down a couple of degrees, but overall, not much uh, impact on this uh, weather-wise. Obviously, we'll watch this situation, see if anything develops further with that, but uh, I don't think it's going to put much of a complication into the forecast. Just a wrinkle, I guess. Then going out 10 days, this is Sunday the 14th, and again, high pressure is the dominant weather feature. And so we're looking pretty warm and dry. I would ex expect high temperatures, probably upper 80s to low 90s in that setup and uh, continued very dry conditions. Looking at uh, rainfall for Phoenix, this goes out through the 19th of the month off the GFS Ensemble, the mean under a tenth of an inch. Same thing for the European Ensemble. The mean is under a tenth of an inch. We do not anticipate any Significant precipitation over the next couple of weeks. That's to be expected. It is the dry season after all. And then temperatures off the national blend of models. I mean, hey, look, tomorrow is going to be the most gorgeous Saturday that we have here in Phoenix, probably until late October or November. Uh, you're not going to beat that. Highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s. And then we're going to warm it up, and then it's going to just get downright uncomfortable highs in the 90s lows mainly in the 50s and 60s by the time we get to next week and beyond and that's going to do it for the phoenix arizona weather discussion for today my next video is due back here on monday morning of course updates before that if necessary and of course health pending should you happen to enjoy these videos then be sure to subscribe like share click that notification bell leave those comments questions and suggestions and if you really like what we do here, you want to support us monetarily, then click the thanks icon below the video here on YouTube, or you can donate directly to me via PayPal. We're still looking for those uh, donations to grofshow at gmail.com. 
The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation, and the proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. Talking about my Michelle, check her out, and I've got some relevant links for her in the description. Check out our streaming station. It's called KMGX. That, too, is linked up in the description. We play a ton of music over there and have a lot of fun with that. All right, I've gone several minutes without a coughing fit. That's that's something, uh, but I, I better not make any sudden movements. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, all of your continued support, and bearing with me through this uh, this health situation, this this the cold from hell, and uh, I really or whatever it is, I don't know. Uh, thank you guys again for indulging me, all of your continued support. It is so greatly appreciated. Please be safe out there. Enjoy the rain where you can find it. Have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.